you guys, Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Fox Films Deadpool 2 Movies Cable. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out, link in the description below. And while you're down there, please reach over and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to Paul Lutz for helping me out and finding this figure out in the wild for me, along with a second figure to give away to one of my viewers overseas. So if you didn't see yesterday's video, check that out. But anyway, the packaging over here looks awesome. I really love how they've had Deadpool tag this thing. You know, he's got a Deadpool logo over the X logo. He crossed out Nathan Summers and replaced it with Cable. On the side, you can see a nice silhouette image of Cable over there. And then on the back, you can see Cable again, same silhouette image. Then we get a Deadpool logo over an X logo Marvel Legends at the top and then not much more at the bottom and for packaging comparison here's the packaging to the mystique figure all right let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> So here's all the accessories that we get with Cable. And one thing that Hasbro's been doing that I really like with these Fox Films movies, kind of like what they've been doing with the MCU films figures, is that they make sure to include a coffee stain. Okay, so we have this big gun right here, which looks awesome. I really like this a lot. It looks very film accurate too. I remember it having uh, the wood stock right over here. A lot of nice sculpted detail. And then it comes with a grenade launcher that you can attach to the bottom of it right over there. And you could also have Cable hold this if you'd like, but it just looks a whole lot better just being attached right here and then you get this other grenade launcher that can also be ported onto the bottom of this as well and that just doesn't look as neat to me i like how this one looks a whole lot more right doesn't this one look a whole lot better then for the second one we get a side holster right over here so you just port that in just want to demonstrate that so that goes in very well you also get a sidearm with this figure and that looks really good too i like the texture detail that we're seeing right here and then this sidearm has a holster right here along the right side of his hip it goes in there very nicely i do like having this storage and for most of these you can plug in effects at the end of them uh, this gun is just a little bit too small but if you want to use the big old gun right over here, that'll work just fine. And then for the grenade launchers, you'd need an effect piece with a bigger port. You know, this is a little bit too loose, but hey, you can make it work. Ah, it won't port into this one down here though. That's unfortunate. So just the big old gun and the other grenade launcher. <laughs> So I gotta say, I love this head sculpt. I think they did a great job over here. It looks like Josh Brolin playing Cable. I am very impressed with it. I love the paint detail on the face. You can see stubble underneath his chin, the scarring, the left eye, the right eye, everything just looks really good on this thing. The only thing that I just don't like about it is that sometimes it just has too many hot spots. I wish they had a little bit more of a matted paint. It does reflect light a whole bunch. And then once in a while, it looks like he's making a kissy face. It just depends on the angle but you can see a little bit of that five o'clock shadow right underneath there that looks really good the hair looks great nice paint detail up top over here a little bit missing right there so you got a bald spot there cable but not looking too bad on the back either just not perfect but still it looks great i gotta say i love the cybernetic detail right over here in the neck that is very cool that is awesome. I really like that a lot. I just had to take off the poncho to show that off. The neck does look a little bit long without it on there, but you know, it's still pretty good looking. To compare it to another Josh Brolin head sculpt here, we have a relaxed Thanos. So, hey, there's Josh and Josh. There you go. <laughs> what a trip, man. And then looking at the rest of the figure, it looks awesome. I love the cybernetic arm right here. I love that we get two different colors. You get a bright silver and you get a dark gray. So that's neat. Love that intricate sculpt right there. The hand looks really good. No interchangeable hands. Now you can see the inside of the arm is actually missing that silver paint where we get it on the outside of the arm. So I wish they were a little bit more thorough with that. Uh, right over here, you can see that they did paint this incorrectly. The middle one is supposed to be black and the outside two magazine holsters are supposed to be this olive green color whatever it's just a little nitpick i noticed but yeah the arm looks really good on this side you get the glove once more belt looks really good you get that teddy bear with that nice textured detail there's the back of the bulletproof vest here's the back of the arm your cable butt cable legs look really good except for that right there no sculpted wrinkles in the joints i like that when they do that no paint detail or anything like that on the legs and the boots look pretty solid you know uh, i like the boots and you get treads and peg holes i did want to look at the cape or the poncho is it a poncho or a cape but it looks really good i do like it you can see the hood hanging right over here it does get in the way with posing sometimes and sometimes i think it's a little bit larger than what i remember seeing in the film so you can just take this off right over here and that's what the figure looks like without the poncho or the cape and i did grab my mandalorian 
uh, cape right over here. And that is actually kind of cool. It's not exactly film accurate, of course, but you know, it's kind of a neat look, right? It kind of works. And then I do have the Daredevil 19 custom cape, which is even cooler because now I have a posable cape for cable and I really like that a lot. So thanks again, Daredevil 19. Check out his Instagram link below, but this is sick. I like how that looks. Now, I gotta say, I really wish that there was a way to port this big gun right here onto the back of cable because, you know, it's supposed to sit on the back over here. The best idea I could come up with and maybe another reviewer thought of a better idea. I don't know. I don't like watching other reviewers videos on things if I haven't reviewed it myself, well, especially with Marvel stuff. But yeah, you could take the magazine and kind of jam it into the back of this bulletproof vest and that could kind of work as a clip to have it back here it's a little tricky with you know the big poncho or the cape but it'll at least stay there for a little bit if you're trying to take photos like that but yeah i'm having a hard time figuring out the best way to clip this on here i'd like to know your ideas in the comment section so i really like the articulation on this figure there's some weird things like the cape gets you know it's a little jumbly to work with and the head articulation again we're seeing the double ball pin thing going on or the dumbbell joint anyway without the hinge so you're gonna get some gappage and weird stuff going on as bro can you please uh quickly retire this like uh, please anyway he'll look up that far at least you get a great range of motion doing that and you can move the head downward that much yeah, it doesn't look down as much as i'd like it to so it does get in the way right over there now you get side to side rotation incredible neck pivoting and you do get the shifting side to side which is really the weirdest thing ever is this what you wanted dwight is this what you were going for oh my god God, holy shit, oh my God, apocalypse, oh my God, holy shit, oh my God, apocalypse. Oh yeah, got it. Anyway, you don't get any butterfly joints over here. Uh, shoulder moves outward that far on this side and outward that far on that side. So with different sculpts going on, that's sweet that they could both move out the same range. And you get full 360 rotation on both sides. You get a swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbows on both sides, and then both wrists turn side to side and have a horizontal hinge, which is great for holding guns he does have an ab crunch forward and an ab crunch back i cannot get this whole bulletproof vest off but yeah it's an ab crunch forward that much ab crunch back that much he does have a waist swivel then the hips move outward that much and he'll kick forward very high back a little bit upper thigh cut double jointed knees boot rotation ankles move down they move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot and it's worth mentioning with all the stuff packed onto the figure right here it is a little tricky getting his arms to move inward more than that but anyway to measure out this new cable figure you can see that he is standing right at six and a half inches tall 5'11 isn't short, okay, Ryan? It's actually average, okay? Above 5'11 is considered tall, but 5'11 is average, okay, bro? Then for a Brolin figure comparison, we have our armored Thanos build-a-figure with the three-pack Thanos head sculpt on there, and I don't know how they're going to incorporate these Fox films into the MCU. I would love them for at least to do it with the Deadpool films because they are golden. I've been re-watching Deadpool 2, and I love that movie so much. It's such a great movie. There's no way they cannot keep that canon it's just too good man and then here's cable next to the rest of my fox films figures in my collection at the moment we have mystique we have the logan and charles sdcc exclusive two pack as well and there are more to come so stay tuned and i know the wolverine and the cable are a little closer to the same height than they would be in real life hugh jackman is much taller than josh brolin but hey yeah i'm okay with that i don't want my wolverine any taller and then here's cable next to a gi joe classified cobra trooper thanks again paul both of these brought to us by Paul and I say us because we're sharing the figures we're talking about them all together right anyway I did have some fun posing cable beating the crap out of this guy right over here I still need two more Cobra Troopers and I still need at least one Baroness I went to my target earlier today it said they had three in stock and there were none to be found oh it was so sad but it was cool chatting with random collectors you know what I mean it was kind of neat when you don't walk out of the store winning you can still have a fun experience I love hunting I love it more when I leave with the figure though trust me and then for a cable comparison we have our Fox Films cable and our 616 cable right over here which I think is the dopest Marvel Legends Cable from the comics. I love this figure. And then here's Cable next to the Marvel Legends Captain America Winter Soldier movies. Winter Soldier figure. And you can see their cybernetic arm bros right over here as referenced in the Deadpool 2 movie. So it's cool to see these two side by side. And then here's the new Cable figure next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Whoa, you're from the future? Hey, so in the future, do people get tired of watching me get my butt kicked all the time? Or does it just keep on going forever? Oh! Answers my question.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. It helps. And a big thank you to all these people over here that throw down the extra help over on the crowdfunding site. If you're interested in supporting, check the link below. This figure is awesome. I really like it a lot. I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, I have a little rattling problem and I wish, you know, the big gun could strap onto his back or connect to his back some way. And I have little gripes here and there, but I really do think this is really badass. I think Hasbro's doing a great job with it. I wish they can go back to the hinges on the neck. You know, again, little gripes here and there, but I think this is an amazing piece. And at the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm going to give this cable figure a sun rating of... <laughs> And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.